Hey everyone, and in today's video, I'm going to share with you two ways to convert a web page to PDF for free. So I'm Alison Wood from nichelifesuccess.com and I bring you lots of tips and hints to build a business online or to create a side hustle or two. So there could be lots of reasons why you would want to convert a web page into a PDF. It could be that you've put a site live, you've got the page, but you want to just kind of read through it offline. Maybe you want to print it out, take some time to go through it. It could be that you're closing a site down, but you want to keep that information for moving forward. So if you ever want to refer back to it, you could do. So there's a couple of different ways. The first way I'm going to show you is actually on a PC. Um, maybe something could be done similarly on a Mac. I'm not too sure. You'd need to check that. But if you're using um, a PC, this will work. And the second one should work for everyone. OK, so go to the website that you want to convert into PDF. And this one is for the PC users. And all you need to do is to right click and go to print. It will then bring up the sort of print box. And obviously, if you were going to print it out, you could do that. But what we're going to do is we're going to save it as a PDF. So then all you need to do, if you want to, you know, change any of the settings, you can do. I'm really just going to have it in portrait and all the pages. So I would then just click save that. You can choose where to save it. And then if we want to look at the file, you can see there, obviously, because it's portrait, it's not going to be exactly as it appears on the site, but it's going to capture all the main information. All the images hadn't loaded there, but that's the, the general gist of it. Now, the second one is for really anyone to use. And I use this site, which is absolutely amazing for so many things to do with PDF. And it's free. So if you haven't found this before, I really would check it out. You can do things like merge PDF. You can add page numbers. You can obviously convert files for different things. Lots of the things that I use it for are merging split PDF, compressing PDF, because that's often important. And I use it for things like page numbers and watermarks, so many things. But the thing we're going to use today is the HTML to PDF. So we just click on that and we're going to add the HTML. And then all you do is you copy the URL. Now, if you've got lots of pages in your site, you're going to need to do each page. But I think that's actually OK, because you really probably want a document that is each individual page that you can look through. You could always merge all those PDFs together afterwards if you wanted to. So we're going to click Add. You can see here your screen size and which page size it is. And we're going to have it as one long page so you can scroll down. You can see how brilliant that is. So you can see everything. Now, obviously, this site is more images than anything else. But if you had a lot of text on a site, obviously, that's super helpful because you can refer back to it at a later time. You then convert it to a PDF. Download it. I would save it. But at this point, I'm just going to open it to show it to you. And that's it. That is your PDF saved. I actually prefer this option, the I love PDF, because I think it's just a better option, really. It just comes out better, the finished result, so you can read through it. I will leave a link to I love PDF in the notes under or above this video, wherever you're watching. And hopefully that will be helpful for you, not just for this, but for all your kind of PDF needs. Hope that's been helpful today and I'll see you next time.